heavy nature and I've got a bright light in my face. I forgot my diffuser. But anyway, I am at Tybee Island, Georgia. The uh, fishing pier is behind me. Let's see, oh, there we go. And I got down here in time for sunrise. It's about uh, maybe, uh, it's getting close, it's probably six o'clock now. Sunrise is at 6.30. Uh, it's light enough, I can look for some compositions, but mainly with the pier. I've, I've come down here a bunch of times uh, for some, uh, some aerial work and some astrophotography and uh, yeah sunrise this is a popular vacation spot for my family and friends and uh, finally got some uh, some decent kind of clouds in the in the sky there for, for sunrise without being totally covered uh, total cloud cover so I'm gonna look around see what I can find uh, set up it's a very popular spot there's a lot of people around um, might have to do some editing and clone, uh, clone a, a sunrise uh, admirer out or two. set up where the the pier is is going down the middle from left to right very similar to this this GoPro uh, framing right now but I can see uh, there's some nice red kind of on the other side of the pier to the right there that'll look good I might have to zoom in a little bit um, good color in the sky not any there aren't any clouds really above that so I'm kind of trying to keep this in the frame I do have a nice diagonal uh, with the the wave crashing line there's another uh, photographer here Ooh. I'm only crushing your head anyway uh, there are some birds flying around I don't know if they're gonna be really visible uh, in the shot I am going to you know just for the heck of it take a shot with that guy in the foreground silhouetted maybe I can uh, pretend it's me huh <laughs> yeah dude okay you know I, I really do try my best to stay out of other people's shots if I can. And this guy just kind of set up right there. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. What do you guys feel? Let me know in the comments uh, if you make an effort to, to stay out of other people's shots if possible. And I get that there's compositions all over the place here. And I will probably move down closer to the waterline where he's at. But I wanted to start back here and then move forward. Oop, I just banged my camera. And then move forward um, to get more of the waves, uh, right, like right there. <laughs> uh, crashing, like rolling right before the, and there's a bunch of birds. Um, I don't think I have fast enough shutter speed to take advantage of that right now. But I'll get some shots here with the light here. I'm gonna zoom in and then try to get some shots of the waves crashing or curling and use that as another uh, possible leading line, but an angle cutting across toward the center of the photo. Set that up as the, as the center of the photo, zoomed in. Um, I'm gonna take a few more here and then move down and, and try to really get that curling, crashing wave uh, in the foreground of the, the pier. All right, so I moved down closer to the water. The tide is coming in, and I've already had to scoot once to just make sure I stay out of the way. Um, only because I, uh, well, if I had to, I would be barefoot, but um, I moved closer. You can kind of see 
composition. I'm still keeping the angle of the, the water line and the incoming waves. And the pier itself is set up uh, center and the vertical. There we go. Give me an idea of scale there. And right now I'm playing around with shutter speed as far as capturing uh, less blur in the, the motion of the waves. I'm at a 125th at F8. I, d I left my circular polarizer on. I've never really shot water uh, or like this for sunrise with the waves. So I'm just kind of experimenting with uh, the circular polarizer uh, and seeing how that affects the, sh the shimmer of uh, what's going on here. Uh, I don't know, I'm just playing, just having fun. Uh, hanging out, look at that, I mean, lots of people here. I don't know if you can see them. So uh, I have the 24 to 70 millimeter lens on, and you can see I'm zoomed in all the way at 70. I think I'm going to, uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna get closer to the pier and, and cut away the beach out of the shot um, and just have waves. So I'm gonna put the 70 to 200 on in just a little bit while I've still got some really good color in the clouds right there. Incoming. <laughs> Public works doing their thing. And here comes the Mr. Photographer back in the foreground. So I'm gonna switch lenses and uh, I, think, I think that'd be a cooler shot taking the sand out of the image. Uh, the beach out of the image and just try to get crashing waves they're not very big they're only a couple feet <clears throat> that was a good one see the timing that's the other thing that i get a wave like that probably every three minutes so i'm going to switch lunges and uh, get a little closer all right this guy just doesn't care Wow. I understand you want your shot. A little consideration. Luckily my composition has got him just out of frame. Oh, I like that last one right there. That was a good wave. Now I'm, I'm working on timing. I've got a little bit of sun I could still use. So this, I don't have the circular polarizer on the big lens here. So now I'm just gonna work on trying to get the waves in a good position in the composition. show you what I was trying to do here <clears throat> is you can see the sun reflecting in the, the very sheen of the water the shallow water and so I was trying to set up a composition that captured that like as the water as the waves uh, come in and also recede but get it at that point oh that was a good one anyway uh, the sun's almost too bright now but I am uh, what I did and of course this is all about experimenting and, and, and learning so what I did is I increased my shutter speed and I'm at 125 right now so I'm definitely not getting any smooth motion to the water and uh, but I took it off a two-second timer and set it up for uh, continuous high-speed uh, shutter action shutter release so I was hoping to be able to get more of that captured moment of the curl of the wave with a higher shutter speed 
But again, if I'm shaking the camera, uh, I don't know. I'll wait and see, uh, you know, if I lost focus or something in post. But anyway, I'm, I, I'm trying to use a higher shutter speed and capture the curl of the wave coming over in the foreground. And the, the light is changing really quick now, so I think I got all the shots I can get really at this spot. 